This is our third match today. We first ETC, lost by one question, and we versed uh, the Wolves of Steel, and we lost by one question again. One question. But today we're going to take on the Wangers. I'm so excited because I'm in love with Christian, and he doesn't know this, but I've been wanting to make love with him for a long time, so I'm hoping that after I win this match today that he will make sweet, sweet, passionate love to both John and I. Hi guys, Greg here. Andrew here. Andrew with the channel Movie Source Channel. Movie content. Movie, 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 movie. So, this is not a movie. This is a show called Gotham. They're introducing all of like Batman's rogue gallery, but way before he's even well, Batman. Well, right? he's a child, which is very weird. I don't choice. follow Gotham. I don't. Uh, I watched the first two episodes and I lost interest quickly. Understandable. Uh, I've heard it's pretty cool though. I've heard it gets better and I should give it a chance. There's just a lot of TV shows out there to watch. It doesn't feel ring uh, very true to the Batman mythos, but I mean, you gotta respect it for trying to have its own like interpretation, but the biggest criticism I have of the show is Batman's a kid and you got all these rogues coming in while he's a child, but I mean, there are some interesting storylines for sure, and I do love uh, Robin uh, Taylor Thomas, I believe his name is, is the Penguin. He's great as mm -hmm. Oswald Cobblepot. There's this trailer, Jerome Reborn, where mm -hmm. he's officially the Joker. Yeah, and he was uh, kind of the Joker in uh, season two as well. The actor who plays him, Cameron, I forgot his last Monahan. name. Monaghan. Monaghan, he's also on Sh uh, Shameless. So as Jerome in uh, season two, I really thought, like, his laugh, like, he just he really gave off that Mark Hamill kind of vibe, so I'm... Really curious to see how, you know, this version is going to be too. This character kind of uh, died uh, from Azrael, I believe, uh, killed him in season two. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens here, how he gets resurrected. All right. Enthusiasm through the roof. Birth of Batman there. 
Hey, that look, that makes that that immediately makes me go. I should probably catch up so I can start watching this show. That looked fucking awesome. Yeah, no, it did look really cool too. Um, and I do, like I said, I really like this guy as uh, as Joker, and I'm gonna give maybe a little bit of an unpopular opinion, but I like him a little more than Jared Leto's version so far of uh, the Joker. Getting back to this, I will say that his uh, his face, how they restitch it, kind of reminded me a little bit of Jigsaw from The Punisher. A little bit. A little bit. Well, yeah, I mean from the minor information that we know about the new 52 that's what he does right yeah yeah someone takes his face and he staples it back on oh yeah kind of, kind of gave me that little face off vibe of the nicholas cage and yeah. john, uh john travolta and their faces are uh, yeah. switched and stuff but... this seems like a really good direction for the show yeah because i haven't been following the show but this immediately hooks me because it's weird that we're getting a full like joker origin tale prior to him becoming Batman, mm -hmm. but I like how they're doing their own version yeah. where it's influencing Bruce Wayne. You Obviously, these events are going to haunt Bruce Wayne, so you're actually making it even more of a personal villain for, for Batman. Like, you're actually amplifying the reason they become arch enemies for the rest of their lives. Yeah, also, you're building in that back history, too. Like, and also, they're going to have many more years of fighting, not just when he was Batman and Joker. Yeah. It's also now it's starting when he was Bruce Wayne. Obviously, Joker, when he fights him years later as Batman, he's not going to know he's Bruce Wayne, but... From Bruce's point of view, it's going to be interesting. He hasn't just been haunted by this guy for yeah. many years as Batman, also as Bruce Wayne. And two, I got a little bit of a vibe from in the, when they're in that glass room and they're kind of fighting each other. Kind of gave me a little bit of the interrogation scene from Dark Knight, which is just, it's just mano y mano and like they're in a glass room kind yeah. of. So, I mean, that was pretty cool to see that and then him p putting blood on his face with the Joker makeup. Like, I've never, you've never seen, like, the Joker doing something like that to Batman, even though he's not Batman yet, he's still Bruce Wayne, but still, just to see him do that to the person who will become Batman one day, it was just, it's very interesting it's and very different. Interesting. And it's different, so that's cool that they're, you know, a respect for them going with their own version of it. Like, I just thought it was a really well-composed trailer because going just from Jerome for, like, most of this trailer and seeing what's going on with the Joker was so fascinating that I was like, is this just going to be the show now? Are we even going to get back to like Jim Gordon and everything? So when I finally went back to them, it, it made me feel like this is a, a storyline for a full season that I could get on board with. Mm -hmm. This is something that has hooked me, that's making me go, I want to see these events actually play out. And I like how that there's retelling going on while it's still taking influences from other source material, of course. This has a whole new dimension for like the Batman mythology in a way. Yeah, definitely. And like I said, I, I like them doing like their own version. And like I said, I like this them starting off the back his the backstory and the and creating that history for them from when Bruce was a kid. Like like you said, he's gonna be haunted from this character now from when he was a kid rather oh, than yeah. when he's you know, the title right. character is Batman, so that's really interesting and cool to see from that perspective. And also, too, you got that one guy, he's in the he's Dark Knight. He's in the Dark Knight, yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And he Other... worked for the Joker in the yeah, Dark Knight. He was, a, yeah. he was a schizophrenic, I think, right? And Two Face, yeah. uh, Tom, Thomas Schiff. He's the guy who was supposed to shoot Jim Gordon. Yeah. yeah. And it's funny to have him as a schizophrenic life. Thomas Schiff. Also, too, I think he was in, uh, I could be wrong, he's in Ant Man. He's the, the, uh, the guy, the computer guy. I, I yeah, fixed yeah, computer, or, yeah, that guy. Yeah, so this show seems to be going down a route now where it's less based on these other characters and they're like, let's capitalize off of Bruce Wayne now and let's capitalize off Joker. We can, you can use these guys here. So this is cool. This is, I could see this leading into like Bruce Wayne becoming Batman eventually into the show, which would be so fucking awesome yeah. to have a TV adaptation of Batman. That, that seems like it could work if they build it right. No, for sure. And I mean, just seeing this, like I'm already foreshadowing and thinking in the future, as you just mentioned, I want to already see him be Batman and these, yeah. this version of Batman and this version of Joker, like face off. Oh, that'd be but, so cool. But after we see like, again, the backstory and the history that's going to start here, maybe in a few seasons we get hopefully that wish. And then like, We'll have this to build upon from, and now oh, there's yeah. like there's that history now. There's that that they they have that chemistry from from starting off where we saw them a couple seasons ago. We've this battle has been really brewing in the making for years to come. So it'll be a little more meaningful of awesome. an impact. I can see a strong defining path for where the show is aiming to go. I can see where the show is really aiming to to end up. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Sweet. Thanks for telling me I, I avoided this because I don't watch the show. I think I'm going to start the show. Yeah. I think I'm, I got to finish the show now. And I know you watch the show, so hell yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Subscribe to The Real Rejects. Thanks for recommending that my way. Subscribe to Andrew on the Movie Source channel where he talks more movies and shit like that. And the Lego Batman movie. I might do a review for it. Or I might be watching Fifty Shades Darker. What do you guys want me to watch? Fifty Shades Darker. Visit us at facebook.com slash the real rejects request to put down your request today.